Hello and welcome to Old Gold Tech. As you can see, this is more relaxed couch session that we've got going on here. Now, I know Neil did promise you over and over that there was going to be an erotic uh, special. When an Earth erotic ever promise that couch one? Well, you promised a lot to the fans. I think you just but kept on talking about it. We couldn't get anything, unfortunately, from uh, ladies because uh, we get told off. Well, and, uh, that's not good, is it? No, it's not good to do. Take my pants off there. Um, so, I mean, what I've done is uh, I hope this makes up for it. We've actually got some of my pants here. They're really good stripy ones. Have they been washed? They're, they're trusty, of course they have. And I'm going to put them on the back here for all you internet people that like to look at that sort of stuff. You want, you're, it's a bit closer by now. Have they been washed? Yeah, they're all good. Definitely yeah, been washed. They're fine, yeah, don't worry. Okay. Right, okay then. So, we're moving away from the scripted studio stuff, which we all have fun with, and we're going to talk. About these, um, about Kids. these MP3 players. New here. stuff. Well, right? not the MP3 players. <gasps> the old technology to the new. Um, and first of all, we start off with the trusty Walkman. Oh, stereo belt. As it's stereo called. belt. What a name. Uh, well, well, it's it's having a stereo on your it's belt. Exactly what it says on, on the, the tin. tin. It is. It's great. I mean, it's just so descriptive. And it's even funnier when you say it in a slightly German way. Stereo belt. Thank you very much. I didn't mean that. You see, uh, no, I can't do that. But um, why would they call it the Walkman? As opposed to the stereo belt. Now, what? It's not a man, is it? No, and I know you walk with it, but it's not a man. It's a very so. sexy statement as well. Is it? Walk a man. Yes, I suppose. Misogynistic people. Anyway, Sorry. this was a really good piece of kit. I had loads of Walkmans. They were really solid, really stable. Uh, the only thing that used to be annoying is when the batteries ran out and it went... <laughs> it didn't give any warning, it just sort of slowly... But this one had a radio on it. Radio? Which was really cool. So you could always sort of run around listening to Was this actually your Walkman? Did you yeah, have much is, fun with this? Yeah, this is my one. This is the last one I had. No, you couldn't record from the radio on this device. This was purely playable. Ooh, you, you can't do that. You're pushing your luck there. I'm just suggesting that you may be No, actually... this one had a built-in radio. Right. Uh, and it had like a bass booster on it as well, which a lot of them seem to have. When you had these tiny headphones and it, all you could do was... <laughs> And that was it. Yeah, I mean, I think I used it quite a bit. It, it still looks quite good. Um, but yeah, that is the Walkman. Have you got any loving memories of the Walkman at all? Well, only what I said on the show, which is whereby mine had a little microphone um, button in there so you could listen to the ambient sound around you as you were walking across to make sure you didn't get run over or sort of nipped in the bud by cars. And on that and note, like that. we yes. do not condone or we do not want anyone to try what we did unless you're... Um, professional to a sense in terms of you know how to do that sort of thing. No. Uh, Neil's injuries uh, were great and he's, he stayed in hospital a long time but please do I can't not. actually move at the moment I'm just rooted to <laughs> no. this. No. Please no. don't try that at home. Um, if you want to know how you do it uh, there's a lot of tutorials on the internet. Anyway that's different stuff. Talk. Yes it is. I that's... just wanted to make sure you're all, all the kids were safe. Um, right so that was the Walkman. Right next up. Doesn't work anymore. Um, this is Nick's favourite machine. 1983 CDs were invented as you know, and shortly after came a number of uh, anti-skip based Panasonic CD portable players. This is the one that we have here. Not just Panasonic. Though. No, I know. I know there's loads. Walkman. That's uh, why they call it the they Walkman, didn't they? Well, they don't lie. They just skip. Sony brought them out. Philips, Panasonic, everybody jumped on the bandwagon Aywa. because at the end I would. <laughs> Hinari. Aywa. Hinari, remember those? Hinari? Yeah, do you remember those? No, they, they used to make ovens and fridges and microwaves. Hinari, yes. Still around today, they think, making those Oh, absolutely. <laughs> mm, not sure about that. Mm. Weren't very good. But anyway, so these guys came out and uh, boasted this anti-skip technology. And what it meant was, because CDs actually use lasers to read the data, um, lasers are quite susceptible to movement. So if you move them around, shake them, even kick them, um, they have to be, you know, robust enough to not you, skip when you you're moving. That? Well, they put them in cars, right? And do you remember the car ones that they had? And we still have them today. Yeah, they they're pretty cool. They don't skip too much, do well, they? Well, it depends. Well, it depends on your driving. Yeah. yeah. But okay. That was an annoying piece of technology because it promised so much, but yet lied basically. Now, you that out there might have had really good experiences, and you might have spent a bit more money and got one that really did do a year's worth of anti-skip playback. But well, this wasn't but very good, was for it? For me, those things were a big lie and a bit of a con, and it was probably better to stay to a Walkman, to be honest, than move on to a Discman. Well, next big issue was that um, when you was running and jogging and walking, even at a small jog, you know, even one of those power walks, this thing would skip uh, his Bronski Beat CD all the time, and obviously not not a good thing to do, really. Not when you're in a pace. No, you're when you're in a pace. Pace run. Uh, when you well, when you're in the zone, you look for that stuff for inspiration. And what Bronski Beat. Hey. I thought that's what Bronski Beat sounded anyway. Well, 
Maybe it was the... Anyway. But anyway, that uh, didn't work very well for you, so you weren't very happy with this, hence trying to smash no. everyone up. Please don't break it. No, it's not mine anyway, it's someone okay, else's. That's okay, then. Well, we'll get rid of that. Right, okay then. And then we move on uh, to a fantastic um, invention which promised so much, but didn't quite get there or hit the mark, which was the mini disc player. Now, the mini disc player... Um, oh, I love the mini disc player. I liked it from the adverts they brought out. One, I loved the discs. I loved the way they looked. Well, it's a small form factor, wasn't it? This one had a really nice clunky sound when you inject it. Chunk. This is like replacing cassettes, wasn't it? So it gave you the ability. Where CDs at the time were only just, you know, you could only listen to them. These guys invented the, the, the mini disc so you could actually play back music and record at the same time. Yep. And there's a lot of, as we said in the show, there's a number of artists that actually brought out mini discs albums. So you had the CD, mini disc. The LP, Reef. tape, yeah, and there you go. But this could record digitally all your music, but only 74 But the minutes. mini discs look really cool as well, though. They had something Correct. quite spy-like about them, quite stealthy. Different like. colours, right? You could get multiple colour ones, blue yeah. ones, red ones. And one has a little hatch ones. on it, which will show you a close up of course. Um, and you could push that and you'd spit the disc out. This, this was cool because you had a good sturdy this one. This is like a front loading mini disc player as opposed yeah. to the top loading rubbish that I used to have. Yep. Yeah. No. I mean, it still worked, but uh, this is a cool device. I mean, you could make your own CDs up and a lot of the stereos that you could get from certain catalogues uh, out at that time uh, all had the uh, the features to usually sort of output straight to these in some sort of on a really basic menu. I had an AWA stereo uh, that could do that. AWA. This, was, this was the first digital mixtape then, right? If you think about it that way. Yeah. You could give your girlfriends, boyfriends, girlfriends and boyfriends, yeah, um, mixtapes on mini displays where we used to do in the olden days, give uh, our loved ones mixed cassette tapes. Remember those? With all the clicks in the middle and the stuff that you record off the radio. How many boyfriends did you that? give mixed discs to? None. Right. Anyway, thanks for that. Uh, next. <laughs> next one is... Friends over here because we've started a trend. We both go. have girlfriends, by the way, just in case you want to start. Sort of writing in. Right, okay then. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. So, yeah. Oh, you're ready? Uh, yeah, yep. you certainly are. Um, this is the Sony Ericsson uh, phone, as you can see, but this had some lovely technology. This had a Walkman type style built in. Now, this is not mine, so I'm going to break it. But apparently, you could record onto a very small little ah, device. This is tiny. And how many songs would this hold? M2 card, 512 megabytes, quite a few. Quite a few I can't songs. tell you the exact number, but it was quite a few. You can't tell me the exact number. Well, if you think... Uh, Tell's the first number you know. Maybe two hours. More than 12, yeah. less than a million. Let's put it that way. So That's a very good way of Thank you very much, yeah. So the Cybershot phone, and Sony built a lot of their phones with the Walkman-based technology in. Yep. So as you've got the phone with you, um, listen to music. No video, though. Just music, right? MP3-based music. Uh, Sony's own no, stuff. No, no, you could do video on that. Really? Yeah, on this one? Video. Yeah, yeah. It's a special one. Oh, that was good. Oh, um, nice. But, I mean, you primarily use it for sort of recording silly things and stuff, like people at work playing silly jokes and stuff like that, or whatever. Oh, shows like this. But really stupid jokes, yeah. But it's pretty cool, though, because Sony brought out a number of these, and they're still going today. Sony still have a number of phones with the Walkman technology built in. But didn't Sony have this um, PC, Mac-based software that was really sort of clunky to get your music on. Do you remember? I don't know what it was called. Maybe you can write in and let us know. But this wasn't very good. I remember having a, a, an old Sony The free CD player. you got. Well, the thing is, with all those devices, all you have to do is to bring them up in my computer and just as a removable disc and just drop your stuff in anyway. Ah, I see. The one I had was old and I had to have... You don't have to manage it. This is the thing with these softwares. You don't have to do it. Ah, right, just me then. Rubbish. Nokia's gotta... PC suite does my head in as well. Anyway. Let's not rant about that. No. Thank you. Okay. Right. Next up. Let's get up to the final, final big boy. Final countdown. So the device that has changed the way we listen to music. The, the pod. IPod. Yes. I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm completely pro Apple and stuff, because there's some things I don't like that they do and no, stuff of like course. that. But I mean, if, if any of you have had a better MP3 player or MP4 player or anything over the last few years, please write in and let us know, because... I've experienced a few of the other sort of ones, like the uh, the Zune and all that sort of stuff. Mm, yeah, but yeah. I mean, th this thing just came out and just took over, didn't it? I mean, this is the second yeah. generation one, um, and this had the lovely blue interface. It wasn't a colour screen or anything like that. Really basic, but yet really lovable at the same time. Music I mean, only. Music only. For nothing this, else. For this version, music only. Yeah. And when it got fed up and started to break, it used to show us an iPod being unhappy, um, which might, might be able to get you a screenshot of. Um, but if we crack open uh, this bad boy, then oh, yeah. I'll be able to show you 
What? Let's not forget that there are other MP3 players out there, and the iPod itself isn't really renowned for its audible and audio music quality. I mean, there are better ones. Uh, Sony apparently are, are really good, but for usability, playability, and everything else, <laughs> um, really. you can get you can't even get into this thing, can you? I know for a fact that this opens. Yes. I also know that we can't refilm this again. So, <laughs> inside here, there's a logic board, a hard drive, and a battery. And we will of, show you. We will show you. I'll, we'll cut to it, don't Magic we? Magic of we'll, cutaways, We'll make right? it look really oh, seamless. Oh, yes, it'll be good. Um, but this was a fantastic device. Really good, chunky device. It's so, it's so well made, you can't even get into it, even though you broke it twice with a screwdriver. I think this died because of heat from when I go running. I think the heat of it From broke your it. pocket? From, no, I had oh. it on an armband on my arm. Oh, for that. That's yes. good, yeah. Well, because I wouldn't be touching that if it was... No. Anyway. Right, no. okay then. Anyway, so... Um, Any that, other lovable memories? I mean, you've had a few of these. I've got quite a few of these, from sort of the first generation to the, um, to the iPod Nanos. The Nanos now have video, which is really cool, um, and obviously the iPod Touch, which has, has revolutionised uh, the way we listen to and view video and music. But let's not forget the iPhone, which we both have. Uh, the iPhone itself has, has brought video, music, phones together. Where are they going to take it next? We don't I mean, have to talk about the iPhone, no. Uh, we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to say, where are we going to go next with this stuff? <sighs> I don't know. I want someone to... going to get smaller? If it's going to get capacitor. better, bring it on. Bring it on. Anyone, anyone out there, small manufacturer, whatever, if you're big, I don't care. The next thing that moves on from this will be something special. It's got to be, because this has changed everything and has been the most popular music player of all time to date. But... Things can change. The Walkman was massive in its day. Yep, the exactly. cassette-based Walkman was, was the biggest thing going. So where are we going to go next? You know what? Write, it, what? write in and just tell us what you think Absolutely. actually um, what actually will come next. Please just tell us. It can be crazy to a washing machine or a squirrel attached to it. It can be anything because you like to have a laugh. But also maybe some sensible ones in there as well. Squirrelvideo.com Squirrelvideo. Mm. So if you want to get in touch with us, you can do it in a couple of ways. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. And you can get to us at fans at oldgoldtech.com, which you'll see here. And visit the website, because that will have all the links as well. But we will be tweeting out. I've just got in. About all things. Oh, there I've you go. I've just got in, so there's no need to magically put this in anymore. Uh, just to finish off the show, there's some close-up shots of an, of an iPod there. So the uh, logic board and the, uh, the ribbon cable and the hard drive there, which I think is a Toshiba one or a Samsung. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the battery there. Uh, and obviously all the other little gubbins and stuff. I don't recommend you take yours apart at home, though, because sometimes you can't get back together. And it will invalidate your warranty. Yes. Depending how old it is, of course. But if you go at it with an axe, then I suppose you can get these things working yes. pretty well. But I'm not going to throw that one down. No, don't throw that. Put that one down. So anyway, that concludes the old couch session for this time. We will be back uh, with another couch session uh, for uh, one of the other shows. And uh, Nick's Pants will not be joining us for the next show, unfortunately. No, that's enough. I've had enough of them now. 